Hi and welcome to CoView. As a CoView customer, you have the ability to customize your experience with optional add-ons. To browse and install add-ons, visit our marketplace at coview.com forward slash add-ons. If you are on an enterprise plan, please contact your telehealth coordinator or your CoView account manager. Today we are going to look at the Pearson Clinical Wexler Adult Intelligence Scale, 4th edition Australian and New Zealand also known as WACE4, which allows you to deliver standardized intelligence testing from within your CoView call. To use this service, you will need to be registered with Pearson Clinical and have your Pearson member ID handy. If you don't have a Pearson Clinical account, head over to pearsonclinical.com.au to sign up. You will also still need the WACE4 record forms and scoring manual, which can be purchased directly from Pearson. Now that you have your Pearson member ID and you've installed Waste 4 from our marketplace, you will need to configure your settings. This is done from the configure menu on the left hand side. Click configure and then click the add ons tab. Scroll down to the Waste 4 add on and click configure. This will open a pop up box in which you can enter your Pearson member ID. Ensure both the consent boxes are selected and then click Save. Now that the Waste 4 add-on has been configured, you will be able to access and use it within your CoView calls. To access the Waste 4 Digital Stimulus Book from your call interface, click on the Tools Plus button and select the Waste 4 Digital Stimulus Book from your list of available tools. The Stimulus Book will open for both you and your client. While you are giving the assessment, the client's local video feed will disappear from view so they will only be able to see the stimulus book. Now you'll see the stimulus book has an additional toolbar to help you conduct your waste for assessment. The toolbar lets you do things like resize the stimulus book, hide the stimulus book from your client, clear your client's annotations and navigate through the book. But now let's have a look at each of these tools in more detail. By clicking the drop down box, you can navigate between the title pages of each subtest. For this example, we're going to open the matrix reasoning subtext. The navigation arrows allow you to move from item to item as you would with the hard copy stimulus book. When using the stimulus book, the cursor functions in such a way that will allow you to direct the client's attention to an item, similar to how you would in an in-person assessment. Firstly, you and the client can see each other's cursor's movement, so you can wave the cursor over a particular part of the stimulus image. Secondly, you can click on any part of the stimulus image. This will cause a little white bubble to appear on the client screen, which will fade away after a few seconds. To respond to an item, the client can click on the stimulus image just as they would if they were pointing to the image in an in-person assessment. When they click, an annotation mark will appear on your screen. If the client then clicks a second time, another mark will appear that is also numbered. This is helpful for viewing the order of responses given and identifying multiple clicks as possible self-corrections. If you navigate between items, the annotations will be retained on the page where the response was given. The annotations can be cleared by clicking the Clear Annotations button in the toolbar. You can also hide the page from the client by clicking the Hide Page button at the top. When the page is hidden, you will see the Not Visible to Subject notification at the bottom left of the stimulus book. This might be useful when you want to move through multiple items without them being visible to the client. To close the stimulus book, you can click the X at the top right hand corner. The stimulus book will still be available in your active tools and your client's annotations and responses will be saved and visible if you want to return to them. Once you end the call, the annotations in the stimulus book will be gone. We'll take a look at more features in depth in future videos. For now, please visit our CoView Help Center or your YouTube channel for more support and how-to videos.